a lot of our people gonna hear this word, but they're gonna walk away. Okay? You don't understand, as you walking away and not hearing this word, you just made your death. Okay? Because you yet to refuse to listen with the most high saying. Okay, you think we come out here speaking our own word. Okay? Yeah. Hey, you know what? In a lot of you Negroes, one thing about black folks, we don't listen to nothing until it's too late. Then you want to start screaming God. He said when you start calling him at the last minute, when you want him, and he tried to call you first, he gonna ignore you. That's what happened to the Negroes in that church in North Carolina that got sprayed up in that damn basement with that white boy in there. God didn't hear them Negro. He let that white boy blow them to hell. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's going on right now in the ghetto. Why you think you Negroes kill each other? God ain't dealing with y'all. He let y'all blow each other to hell. Cause you only want to listen when it's convenient for, 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 for you to listen. He calling for you to listen right now. Christmas, thanks taken, Easter, all these disgusting ass holidays that that white man gave you in slavery is against God. That's why your communities is ravaged. That's why we on the damn bottom. Right, and we just showing you out here. And the other nations know, like the Arabs that's in your communities, like the, uh, the Koreans in your communities, all of this is all set up, okay? They're all your enemies, okay? All of this is set up, okay? They're making money off our people, okay? You ask the Arabs, if you so call yourself Muslim, why are you saying poor to our people, okay? And, and all these switches destroying our people, okay? If you're supposed to be so holy, but you sell it to our people, okay? And we can test anybody, any nation come up here, we're going to cut you with the most word of the most high, which is this Bible. Okay? And we're trying to wake up our people the truth for who they are as a people. Okay? Yeah. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. Verse, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of your possess the land excuse me which the lord swore unto your fathers right and that's why we're trying to show you who your forefathers are right. your forefathers are abraham isaac and jacob that's right, that's right. okay when you walk up to an Arab, ask him who his forefather is he's going to tell you ishmael is his forefathers when you walk in those stores ask ishmael ishmael Who's your forefathers? He's gonna tell you Ishmael is. Okay? A lot of you so called niggas and Latinos, when somebody asks you who your forefather is, you tell them Jacob is my forefather. Okay? You ask the Chinese, who is their forefathers? Moab is their forefathers. Okay? Just like the Japanese. Okay? Which is the uh, Moabites. The Ammonites, I'm sorry, the Ammonites. Okay? Now we found out who we are as a people now. We know we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Why? Right. Because we fit these curses. Yes, sir. Okay? Well, we have to understand that. Give me uh, Haggai 1 and 5. Huh? What did I tell you to get? Yeah. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. You see that? So... We discontinue from our heritage of who we are. So what that will happen is now we don't know who we are as a people. Okay? Now we destroy it. Now we hate one another. We, 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 we care to, to kill one another as a people. Okay? Well, I'm from Oakland. Or, or, or he's from San Francisco. But y'all the same people. Okay? Not, real, not realizing that. Okay? The whole thing when you guys set up with the whole called uh, West Coast, East Coast thing, you know, all that was set up. Okay? What? To kill you so-called Negroes and Latinos, man. Okay? Read that one time. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right. So our forefathers didn't know this land when we came over here. They didn't know. Okay? When we came over here, we came over here what? Cargo slave ships, okay? That's why I asked a, a so-called Negro or a, not, a Latino, what is your nationality? They can't tell you what their nationality is, okay? What is your nationality? That's why I asked a boy, when he tells me he's African-American, I already know he destroyed by the first word he came out of his mouth. 
okay? Or he calls himself I'm black, okay? According to the Bible, okay? You got that Haggai? Yes, sir. Haggai 1 and 5. Book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5. Now therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Verse 6, ye have sown much and bring in little. So the Most High said, our people sown much, but you bring in little. Right. You work 15 hours a day, okay? Some of you make $8 an hour, some of you make $14 an hour. Right. Okay? Read that verse again. Book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5. Now therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Our people have sown much, but bring home little. Right. Okay, got it. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Yeah, our people eat, but they have not enough. We don't have none of these stores in our communities. Okay? We got to go to what? To the hand of our enemies, man. Okay? Whether it's the Arabs, the Koreans, okay? The only stores in our communities. Okay? You can go to Detroit. The same exact thing. Okay? You can go back to New York and Philly. You got the Arabs and you got the, uh, uh, the Koreans owning the stores in the communities. Okay? What? Ye drink. No, excuse me. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. With what? With, with holes. Oh, you work 15 hours a day, you think you make a lot of money. All kind of stuff they got. Okay? The stuff y'all even smoking now, that's not even weed y'all smoking. Okay? All this stuff is laced with drugs, man. Destroying our people's minds. Right. Okay? LSD. And that's what they want to do. Keep you asleep, man. Right. Okay? All this is a setup. Okay? Give me that Ephesians 6 and 11. You got that? Yeah, Hosea 4 and 6. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And that's what our people are destroyed. Because right. none of these churches, none of these so-called Christian Baptist churches, None of these uh, Catholic churches, a lot of you so-called Latinos like to go to, they're not teaching the truth of who you are as a people. Right, okay, go. read it again. Hosea 4, 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the most high rejected our people, man. That's why we walk around here like zombies, man. They want to keep you high. Okay, all this is set up. Okay. Your enemies versus the other nations come up and set, it, up, set up in your communities, oh. and they what? They give you all certain certain things what? Bad food to eat, okay? But they won't give it to their people, but they'll give it to our people, yeah? I've, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law. This is the word of the Lord of hosts. I took you from the pastures and from following the sheep to be prince over my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone and have destroyed all the enemies in your path. I will make you a great name among the great ones of the earth. I will assign a place for my people in Israel. There I will plant them and they shall dwell in their own land. 